We are delighted to welcome remotely Mr. Olivier Lopez, President and CEO of ETIA, for a question and answer session. Welcome. Bonjour, Mr. Lopez. Bonjour. We're welcome. delighted to have you, you connected with us today. So we have a lot of questions from participants, and I will start with a popular one. ETIA is promoting a modular and low-medium capacity process. Can you tell us what are the benefits and limitations of this model, and how scalable is your technology? Yeah, so uh, indeed, uh, our preferred choice is to deliver uh, medium-sized uh, technology. Uh, we like to, to be modular. We like to, and we try to size our equipment from 5,000 tons per year up to 30,000 tons per year. And the idea is to have a delocalized uh, solution in order to, to, to impose a circular and local economy to avoid, and we try to avoid the large volume of trucks uh, bringing uh, uh, waste uh, to, uh, to uh, a big, uh, big facility. We, we are more thinking about uh, local communities and to try to deliver uh, technology uh, to provide uh, and to uh, uh, improve circular economy. Thank you very much, Mr. Lopez. Now, Thomas, I will let you keep on going with uh, the other questions. Hello, Olivier. Uh, and thanks for being here. Uh, we have a question uh, because we have seen that uh, your process is very flexible, offering the opportunity to do pyrolysis and gasification. Uh, and we have seen that you have chosen to work on higher temperature in order produce, to produce gas and not oil. Uh, can you explain us a little bit why did you choose this, uh, this way and why you are more confident on producing gas than, than fuel? Thank you, Tava. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, we have a very flexible solution. I would like also to emphasize that what we are doing is uh, definitely purely this, in the, in, the, in the sense that we do not use uh, oxygen uh, into our process. So all the energy required for the, for the, for the reaction is given by electricity. And the benefit of that is uh, that we can uh, we have a very flexible uh, systems that can operate from, uh, I would say 300, 400, which is a uh, roughly uh, average medium temperature for pyrolysis, but we can go up to 1000 degrees C. And then when we achieve uh, uh, those temperature, we are more in a gasification, but in a, in a literal sense of gasification, which is to make gas, to produce gas. So uh, the, the advantage for us to produce uh, syngas is that we can convert this syngas and we can have a, a large uh, um, application of this syngas. So we can turn the syngas into uh, energy, but of course uh, the idea for us is to give more added value to that syngas. And for with syngas, it's uh, more easy to uh, extract molecules such as uh, hydrogen, such as methane, we can also do a, a, a further step for reforming methane into uh, hydrogen. Uh, we can combine molecules uh, in a fissiotropes and then reinvent a molecule for chemistry as well. So we definitely uh, think that it's, uh, it's a good alternative to, to, to use uh, and to, to prepare syngas uh, rather than, uh, than oil. Thank you, Olivier. Uh, we had yesterday, and we still have a lot of questions about the, uh, the, the, the flexibility of your technology regarding the input, uh, and some attendees are uh, asking if you're able to manage uh, mixed materials, such as plastics mixed with aluminium, for example. Yes, we have done uh, several trials with uh, 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 what we call uh, tetra pack material, I mean, of course, uh, uh, I'm not talking polyal. about the brand itself, but just to, to talk about the multi-layer material, which contain uh, a cardboard, paper, plastic, and, and aluminum. And as we said before, uh, because we have a very high flexibility in terms of uh, temperature range, uh, we can set up pyrolysis uh, uh, up to 600 degrees C, and then we, we keep the aluminum in a solid form, uh, uh, and the aluminum goes to the char, and then we separate the uh, the plastic uh, and organic uh, that goes to the to the to the gas on the gas stream, 
and then the aluminum is separated because the aluminum uh, stay on the on the solid uh, fraction. We also have uh, developed application uh, for PET, and we know that PET, of course, can be recycling. But in some part of the world, PET uh, recycling cannot be used because of a lack of uh, industry or valorization. And then uh, at very high temperature, we can turn PET as well into syngas. OK, so we have a lot of questions, but I will choose a last one. Um, we know that uh, you're involved in the project with a French municipality in, uh, here in France. Um, can you elaborate a little bit about this project? Yes, uh, as I mentioned before, um, our model is really based on the, on the local community, and we want to uh, to once again to improve and provide a circular economy. So the idea uh, about our one of our potential model is to uh, to to work with uh, the the waste collection in a municipality and uh, and of course uh, the waste can be uh, sorted into organic and, and and plastic waste and of course we uh, try to uh, to valorize the mechanical recycling but once the, the the mechanical recycling is is limited then we go to uh, to our uh, thermochemical recycling and the idea for us is really to turn this plastic uh, into a fuel like uh, uh, hydrogen for example uh, or methane, and, and, and then we, we, we really have a circularity in the municipality and in the city itself, and then we generate the waste. The waste can be uh, uh, recycling into, into fuels for cars, for example, uh, if we talk about hydrogen, but also uh, we can also produce methane that can go to the grid. So we are really working on this kind of circular economy where waste can be the raw material of uh, um, valuable uh, added uh, uh, materials such as molecules. Thank you, Olivier. Thank you very much, Olivier, for these very precise answers. Thank you, and thanks to your whole team for introducing your company and responding to the various questions from participants. It was a pleasure to discuss with Thank you. Thank you very much. So we wish you a great evening and au revoir. Thank you. Bye. Bye.